hi python programmers welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to create a digital cloak with python so we are going to use tkenter uh, package which comes with python okay so we will use that in this video so let's get started so first of all let me give you the uh, overview of tkenter so it is used to create a geo application in python okay so now uh, be, to use that first of all we need to import that so i'll just import tkinter and uh, we will import all the things from that so let's say star okay so now we have imported all the things from this tkinter and also like we can uh, import one thing which is tkinter dot tkk which is uh, used to style our tkinter widgets so let's say if we are using uh, CSS to style HTML the same way TTK is used to style the tkinter widget okay so I'm just importing that also okay so now we also need one uh, module which is uh, which is strf uh, time from time so from time uh, from time import that also so strf time okay so this will be used uh, when we have to uh, create the time format okay so now now uh, to create an instance of tk enter uh, we need to say tk something like this so here as you can see in suggestion we are getting that and now we need to assign that so let's say we are assigning that into this root variable okay and also i will give the root uh, window name so let's say root dot title okay Root dot title and I will give let's say my ditch clock okay let's say something like this okay so now now we have to create one label into our uh, window okay and uh, then for that I'll just create label and uh, here I will assign that label into our root application our root window and also we will assign some font so just follow my instructions what i'm doing and then uh, you will understand what uh, what will be the output okay so for this root window we are adding one label actually so i'll just uh, assign font to this so uh, we are going to use digital uh, dg digital font so i'll just uh, go into uh, go into this website and i'll show you uh, how you can download this so i'll also give the link into my description so you can just click on this download here and then now one zip file will get downloaded now you have to uh, extract that zip file and you will get something like this so you have to click on this and need to install that so click on this install okay so now i have already installed that so you have to install that to use that font okay so now it got installed in my pc now i can use that so now now we will move ahead and now i'll just uh, paste d ds digital here let's say ds digital so by installing that uh, thing we can use that here and then also we will assign uh, value means size of that font so 8 is the size okay we have to use brackets here for this okay so now i will just uh, add a closing bracket here and i will give comma and also we will set the background of our uh, our label in which we are going to like display our uh, time so let's say we are assigning black here okay black is our uh, background color and then we will also assign foreground so foreground will be we are uh, assigning foreground as cyan as of now okay so now cyan is our foreground color for our label and we have to assign that into some variable so let's say i'm using variable label here okay so label we are assigning label is equal to this right so now we have our label so now we have to pack this label okay so if you uh, don't know concept of tk enter then i'm uh, like put your thoughts into comment section i will make the videos on tkenter as well in future 
okay so now we have to pack this otherwise you, you can just follow this thing and you can uh, like code along with me to create this project okay so now we have to say anchor is equal to center so now we are just uh, packing our label into the center so center of our window okay so now uh, now what we'll do now we have to create one function which will be triggered from here so let's say we are triggering uh, some function called time here and we need to define this time function so I'll just uh, create that function time and in this now I will create one strf uh, time format so here we have to uh, define this strf format okay so now here we'll write something like uh, month percentage m sorry percentage h then colon then percentage m then colon then percentage s capital s then space and then percentage p okay so this is the format of our uh, like time okay and here we are just uh, uh, we need to assign that into some uh, variable we have to write here colon and then we are going to assign this into some variable let's say string okay and now we have our uh, format so now what we will do now we will just uh, add this uh, string so we are just configuring this this string into our label so now let's say label dot and config okay so label dot config and now we are going to add that text is equal to string okay string okay so now as you can see now have we have added we have configured that uh, like uh, labeled text is equal to our time uh, strf time okay now we are getting the current time and then now what we need to do now we need to call this function again after one after every second so for that we have to do something like label label dot after so after every second so we need to say 1000 so 1000 millisecond means one second okay so after every second we have to call this function so we have to write uh, something like this without uh, brackets okay so now after every second it will call this time function again okay and it will display the time and here we need to close our main loop as well so I will I'll just uh, say main loop and uh, yeah that's that's it about this I think you understood like we are calling here one uh, this time function first time and then after every second we are calling this time function again and we are just uh, configuring the time okay into our label which we have created okay and here we are just uh, defining the uh, label into center okay so now let's run our program okay so now i'll just run this so i'll just run this program and uh, let's say what happens so as you can see like we got this beautiful looking uh, uh, digital clock okay as you can see like uh, this is uh, like uh, live clock which we have created with python program program so i hope you understood the concept like uh, if you if you did then please do subscribe and uh, put your thoughts into comment section if you have any doubt then also you can comment into my comment section i will surely reply to your comment thank you i'll see in the next video till then keep sharing keep loving bye